Every three weeks, and I'm not exaggerating, I get new hardware and new software in these babies. When I'm an octogenarian, I will walk with less energy than you, assuming you have biological limbs, and my balance will be uh, far superior even that to, uh, to an 18-year-old. And I'll be supporting these Porsche-like machines into my parties. How cool is that? Anyone want to see my bionic limbs? So what you see here um, is a, a powered uh, foot ankle. The ankle joint is powered. There's five computers inside, microprocessors, and about 12 sensors. So a lot of people, when you push their buttons, they get angry. With me, my legs just fall off. They just <laughs> pop that off, pop it on. So again, what we've done is we've, we've uh, put forth a mathematical description of my missing, bo my biological missing body part. So we've modeled the muscles and tendons and reflexes. So when I walk slowly, uh, my ankles are actually taking a little energy out for me, like a break. And as I, as I speed up, they become spring-like, just like the human ankle. And when I go really fast, and you can, you can hear the motor, I get lots of work and power. And then I can just decide to run. It's all reflexive. It's all due to this biological modeling. The faster I go, the greater is the work and power. If I walk up a hill, I get more work and power. If I walk down, it automatically takes energy out from, for me as a break without the robot actually explicitly detecting those train variations.